Today's Bible story comes to us from the Old Testament, from a book called Ruth. And it tells a story of an Israelite family who during a time of famine, a time when there wasn't enough food, had to move to a foreign land to look for food. When they settled there in the land, the two sons in the family married local women. But before they had kids, the father of the family died, leaving his wife, Naomi, a widow. Now this was a big deal because in that day, nobody had retirement plans or life insurance. When you died, somebody else had to take care of you. But it was okay because she still had two sons who could take care of her. But unfortunately in the story, we find that shortly thereafter, her two sons also died. Suddenly Naomi had no one to take care of her. She told her son's wives that they should go home to their own families and try to start over. They should try to find new husbands. One of the women did, but the other, named Ruth, told Naomi that no matter what, she'd stick with her. No matter where she went, she'd stay by her side. This was crazy because Naomi couldn't provide for her anything. She had nothing to give her. She went with her back to her land, back to Israel, and back to Naomi's hometown, a place called Bethlehem. They went back there and Ruth started to go out into the fields to pick up food that was left behind after the harvesters had gone through, just so they had to have enough to eat. As she was harvesting in the field, a kind man who owned the field named Boaz told the harvesters to leave a little more behind to provide for Ruth so that she would have enough. When Ruth got done harvesting that day, she gathered all of it and ran home excited to Naomi to show her all that she had. Naomi asked her, where were you picking up these gleanings from? Where were you picking up this food? She said it was in a field owned by a man named Boaz. Naomi said that Boaz was actually one of her family members, a clan leader, someone who was in charge of taking care of the members of their family who maybe had fallen on hard times or helping them if they got into trouble. Now, Ruth did something very bold. She went to Boaz and asked him to marry her. Even though she was a widow and even though she was a foreigner, he said yes. Boaz and Ruth had a baby boy and that baby boy was the grandfather of the great king of Israel, King David one of the ancestors of Jesus. This story teaches us that God can use anybody to do amazing things, to do his will, even people that we wouldn't expect at all. But it also teaches us how God loves us, the way that he loves us. Not only did he love Naomi and Ruth and care for them, provide a way for them to, to give them what they needed, but in the way that Ruth loved Naomi, we see the way that God loves us with a, a never stopping, never giving up, always and forever love. The kind of love that sticks with a person even when things are really tough, really difficult. It reminds us that we are called to love one another. So who might God be calling you to love? 